Hey guys, so welcome to Protocol Dash Point. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement BLE scanner into our Flutter application. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to detect a nearby Bluetooth devices and show the list of uh, Bluetooth devices into our Flutter application. So as you can see over here, so this is my mobile device that has been connected to a USB and you can see my mobile screen over here and these are the Bluetooth devices nearby my mobile device. Okay, so if I press on this scan button, you can see I get the list of dead uh, devices that is Bluetooth devices near my mobile. Okay, so here I am just showing the MAC address of the Bluetooth device and the RSSI that is the distance of that device, particular device. Okay, so let's understand how to implement BLE scanner in our Flutter application. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have created a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE and this is the default code that is the counter code given by Flutter while creating new Flutter project. So I will just remove this and create my own state, uh, stateful widget and name it as my home page. So now this stateful widget simply has a empty placeholder you can see. So first of all we must add some dependencies and we need to add BLE scanner uh, permissions to be used in mobile device. So let's do that. So to add dependencies just go to powspecification.yaml file and under dependency section over here we need to add three dependencies one is flutter okay so this has been used to scan bluetooth devices and we also need get package and uh, to uh, ask permission from the user about uh, using the bluetooth devices we need to add a permission handler so let's add that okay so these are the three dependencies that is required for this project okay so after adding that just hit this pubget button to download all these dependencies in your external library of your product project it's already been done so now let's go to my home page uh, main.dart page okay so now let's uh, start the coding part so here in the lib directory let me create a new file dart file and i will just name it as ble controller okay so this file will be uh, responsible for handling all the request is uh, that are coming uh, like scanning the devices and showing it on the screen okay so here uh, first of all uh, let's create a class and i will just name it as ble controller extend uh, get x controller so get x controller okay so this will import our get library okay and now uh, let's make use of B, uh, flutter blue to uh, detect our uh, bluetooth devices so we have already imported the library that is uh, flutter blue okay so here flutter blue okay so you can see it got Im imported automatically so i will just name it as ble scan ble okay and just create an instance of it so flutter blue dot instance okay so this is an instance so by making use of this instance we can just scan and uh, show our devices that is nearby our device okay so here uh, let me create a function future function and let name it name it as scan blue devices okay so this function should be async nature so let's create this function as async okay so now I need to check if a user has given a permission to access Bluetooth device of uh, of his device. So uh, we have we are going to make use of uh, permission library. So let's do that. So if await permission, okay. So by using this, you can see the permission handler uh, class got imported. Permission dot BLE scan dot request dot is granted okay and we need another if condition await permission dot bl connect okay so these are the two permissions that we need to ask from the user to grant it to use bl bluetooth device of his device okay so what this will do is it will just prompt the user to accept the permission uh, that is android permission okay so now let's use this instance and start the bluetooth sc scanning uh, of the nearby devices so ble dot start scan there is a function start scan okay so here we need to make use of a property called as uh, 
timer so time out yeah so duration for how much time the device should scan for the nearby devices so i will just keep it as 10 seconds okay and after 10 seconds uh, ble will stop the its scanning so ble dot stop scan okay so now once the ble has scanned it uh, scanned all the devices will be listed in this instance so now we need to uh, we make use of it and show it in our app in our main dot dart page so what i will do is i will just create a streamer that will uh, give a list of ble devices so here i will just create a stream okay so this stream will be of kind that is data type list and it will just return scan devices so scan result so it will just return scan result of list okay and this will be a get method scan result okay so ble dot scan result okay so our streaming has been created okay so we can make use of it to show our device in our list view okay so now our ble controller has been created so now let's go to main dot dart page and uh, uh, create a, our ui and a button to scan the devices okay so now let's uh, add our controller in our ui so let me remove this and instead of this let me make use of scaffold widget so we have a app bar so let's add an app bar okay so in body tag we will attach our uh, getx uh, builder with uh, ble controller that we have created so getx builder and we are going to connect our ble controller ble controller over here like this okay so here we okay so ble controller okay so it is giving me an error let me remove this and ble get builder ble controller so now here we must make use of this uh, require property that is builder what we need to build in this uh, widget we need to define okay so here in intel we must pass our controller class so ble controller class so here return uh, we can just return a center widget so center widget we can just return over here okay so center widget will have a child so in center widget i will just add a child as column widget okay so that i can integrate more than one widget in this column so main axis alignment and i will just keep a main axis alignment as center so here we must define children's so let me create a button so elevated button so elevated button so when it is been pressed what should happen will be defined over here and then here i will just create a text widget and i will just name it as scan okay so when this button is been pressed i need to call this class to scan my uh, nearby devices so this function i need to call okay so let's do it afterwards so let's uh, build our ui and down of it i need to show all the list of uh, bluetooth devices as i sh have shown on over here okay so above it i need to do so here over here okay so size box i will just give and uh, with height of 10 so that there is a gap between button and the list of bluetooth device nearby so now so here as you saw i have a stream so i must make use of stream builder to show all the list of these devices so let's do that so here uh, stream builder Okay, so these are the properties that we must make use of so here this stream builder will uh, get the list of bluetooth devices so here i will just define the data type so scanned result okay so now here in stream property we must pass the data that we received uh, over here that is scan result okay so to access this uh, data type uh, from this ble scanner we have already attached or linked our uh, controller so we can make use of this controller to access this uh, data type okay so that that is get property so here stream builder uh, we can just make use of controller controller dot scan result okay and here in builder we get the list of datas of this scanner okay so here uh, context 
so first parameter is context and second parameter is data so i will just name this data as snapshot okay now here if snapshot dot has data if it has data then we need to show the data that we have else we are we can we are going to just show a message that is that there is no nearby device so here return center widget uh, child property no device found and now here i need to show all the devices if there are some uh, devices bluetooth devices nearby so let's do that so here return uh, list view builder dot builder okay so here we are going to just show all the list uh, that is been uh, available in this snapshot okay so item builder we have making use of so context and second second parameter is index final data is equal to snapshot dot data null safety and then we are going to access each index data so first index we get and we are going to just show that data in our card so return card okay so let's give a elevation for this card child list tell okay so as you saw uh, we are going to show our mac id of the device the name so here i'm uh, all the devices which are nearby don't have a uh, bluetooth device name so it is not getting printed else it will get printed and the rssi so here we need to make use of three properties that is title subtitle and trailing okay so let's use that so here text widget data dot device name and subtitle text data dot device dot id dot id okay so this will be our mac id of the bluetooth device that is been scanned and then trailing we are going to show a rssi so text widget data dot rssi dot to string okay so let's end this card and you want this uh, list will build up okay so we have already completed uh, also completed the ui part that is scanning the bluetooth devices okay so now only thing is we need to call this function uh, by when the button is been pressed okay so that we can do by making use of this same controller so here when this button is been pressed controller dot scan devices like this we can do okay so let me run this in my device okay. so i just forgot one main thing that is uh, bluetooth the device access uh, permission to be added in our android model of our flutter project so just open this manifest and in android manifest we need to add the uh, bluetooth access permission okay so let me add that so these are the five permissions that you need to add to make use of bluetooth devices okay so this complete source code of this video tutorial will be on my website protocoldespoint.com so you can just get all the source code from there and implement in your flutter application so this is the thing that you need to add so i have just forgot it to introduce you with uh, this uh, at the beginning of this tutorial okay so let me run this project again okay so the application got installed on my device as you can see so when i press on this uh, start scanning so you can see it is asking me a permission to access your location so i will just accept it and with that uh, it also accepted the bluetooth uh, permission to use it and you can see i got the list of bluetooth devices nearby my devices so this is how you can implement bli scanner into your flutter application okay so that's all for this video tutorial so if you want a tutorial on how to connect to a particular uh, bluetooth device you can just comment it out below and i will just create a video tutorial on how to connect to a specific uh, bluetooth device from your flutter application okay so thanks for uh, watching